that we all turned off the radio. Dude, oh yeah. Oh, that dissonant chord. With or without uh, uh, subclusion. That oh, you know, oh, I like not a conclusion, but a subclusion, because it's like the real note is that dissonant note. That's the conclusion. Mm-hmm. Oh, this is working earlier. I smell. It's real subtle though. Just every once in a while, I get a whiff. So maybe it's maybe my lip. I don't know, man. Never gonna lose it. Seems like I could talk to like somebody about this, but maybe that's what I'm doing with the video camera on. Kinda like the Beatles. Like I, I'm real afraid of getting into a relationship with a woman. Even like a long, like a like a one where I have sex with her, cause it's real emotional, man. From what I remember of women, here's someone like a woman that I'm actually interested in. It it gets real emotional, cause I'll like be real into her, really giving like totally genuine really like everything for and then I'll just close off and go back to my science study of life or whatever like I'll step back go play video games for 12 hours or so. two weeks or a day or five days or whatever like I want what I want sometimes and then she gets like pretty cool with it and then it happens again and again and again and again and again and you realize this is who I am and it gets very emotional for her because she thought that I was a certain way and it turns out I'm not that way all the time I'm just every once in a while just in the beginning of a relationship when I really care about her and then I realized she's just like every other fucking person and I, I, I don't know you know I don't see the benefit of, of nurturing one person when I could be nurturing all the people by nurturing myself and then making videos or, or going pub, doing public shit should I, like, nurture one person above all the rest? Even for a short amount of time, maybe? They don't abuse it Never gonna lose it Can't refuse it Give me a hint. Should I get new socks? Like, these are fucking ripped up in the heel. And I'm picking at it. It's like it's kind of hard around the edges and I just like pull it off. Um, something about buying new socks. Like, I've got some socks that work. I've got like four pair that have fucking holes in the heel. What's real annoying is when one has a hole in it and the other one's full. Like, doesn't doesn't have any holes. Like this, for instance. Um, I gotta buy new socks. I remember to do that. So I'm, I'm really nervous about uh, developing a relationship with a girl that I have no intention of being with long term. And I don't even know if I should do that. Like, what a waste of time that is. It's fun, kind of, like when you're hanging out, it's like, oh, that was new, but I can't talk about what I really want to talk about because you're not the one, so. Settle down, I hear like a voice in my mind, settle down, calm down. Like, I don't want to go for a woman. Because if I, okay, here's my theory. If I go for a woman, what's going to happen is I'm going to be really good at going for women. And then I'll get with the woman, but then I'll have this, like, 
crazy ability, like this is how I started the relationship was going for. So that means I'm going to go for women. Like it's not, I'm not going to be able to go for a woman and then stop. I'm going to have to keep going for a woman. And then when she's not around, it's going to be like other women. And I'm going to be like, I'm so used to going for women or a woman. But if I don't go for her and she comes for me and I can stay calm and just stay there and just let her come for me, I think I can handle that and keep playing video, keep doing what I like to do. When I like go out and I like make it happen, then it's like, oh, when's that going to stop? Not for me, man. I'm not aggressive. I'm really not aggressive. I'm like really, really stable and calm and I don't put my hands on people. I don't like to... I think I pretend to be more nervous than I actually am. Just had a really bad experience, dude. Like really bad. It was really bad. I thought I, mean, I thought it was good. I thought it was supposed to be good. Like I thought that's the way relationships were, but it's like I mean th that is the way relationships were. That was the way love was to me. It was fucking brutal. It was like we would scream. We would get like fights all the time. Like every day almost sometimes. And she would get out of bed and like crying about how she couldn't get out of bed. And I was like, I, I, I didn't know what to do. I, I would like sit or stand or do whatever. It's so like the only way to be with a woman, it seems like, is if you let her pour her hatred and anger into you or jealousy that you're a man and she's a woman that she wants to just vent it into you and you got to let her or she's not going to stick around. Or you're going to fuck her all the time and then she sticks around but like, I've done that and it's okay. But, like, other than that, what's the benefit? She'll, like, take you out. She'll, she'll take me out places, but when she wants to. So I, I'm like, fuck it. I'm sitting at my computer on, at noon on a day, and she's like, hey, let's go do this. And I'm like, dude, no. I'm sitting here, so I'm going to keep doing this. And then when I want to go do something, she's all busy. Like she's Or whatever. Maybe not, but maybe I'll be like, hey, let's go do this. And she'll be like... And I'm like, all right, that was fucking worthless. It's not that extreme, but it's like, okay, I'm not gonna ask her out again. You know? How the fuck do you work that out? Where they? I'm not gonna pretend like I don't like to do what I like to do. Like, I want a girl that I can, like, will, like, call me once a week. Or that isn't afraid to call me whenever. And then I'll just, like, talk or not talk. But then, like, she has no problem just going, calling back or whenever. Like, anytime, like, whatever. Five times a day, I don't, I don't care. I just handle it. I'm like, you know, this is how it is. I thought came flashing through my mind. Like a girl that's not afraid. I can't make a girl not afraid, and I guess they just don't exist because women are all like. My child, the child, the world, I'm afraid I don't know as much as men know. Is that extreme? They know a lot in their own way, but like, when it comes to like, how much money will you have in 30 years? It seems like the man knows that. I mean, do you understand compound interest if you're a woman? Do you understand how to manipulate compound interests? 
maybe you do, probably some women do, but so women have this fear because they don't get the logistics as, as readily, and so they're like, I don't know if it's going to be like stability can exist. You can create a self-sustained society, a self-sustainable society, in which there's stability for all units within the substantial, sustainable society. Substandard, substainable, that's it. It's substainable. So like, I want a woman that gets that shit, that doesn't worry about what's, gonna, what's he going to say or what's going to happen when I, because they know, because chemically they've worked it out, uh, electrodynamically or angularistically, they've fucking worked it out, they have a life experience, they know how people are, they're not afraid to test things, and they're willing to continue after the test results come back, whatever they be, positive or negative, Likeable or not likable, just keep going, make it happen again. If you don't like the result, test it again and again and again and again. And you'll see a different result every time. And sometimes it'll be gradient on this side, and you want one over here, but you're getting all sorts of gradients over here, and then you've got to kind of accept in order to get a different result, you've got to change what you're doing. It's easy. It just takes patience, willingness to accept that you're not always right. You're cha changing. Nothing you know you think you, is, is right is right. It's all ebb and flow, you know. It's... <sighs> I, I guess I'm doing this more for me than anybody, but hope for you women, this is what I want and probably what a lot of men want. Hopefully this helps. Well, I've ripped this toilet paper apart now. I'm probably going to eat it and chew it, I don't know, dude. Probably like pick off little bits and chew it. Like gum, but it's paper. But it's not like paper that I would write on. It's softer. I can actually chew into it a little bit. <laughs>